I got this uh, VCDS dongle and cable from Rostec and of course as you guys know this is going to be great for any Volkswagen vehicle and uh, for my Jetta I think it's going to be perfect. So let's see what you get as we unbox this. Let me just open this guy up and uh, uh, what you see is the dongle itself um, and um, what else is in here let's just have a look okay there we go we've got that and then this is our cable okay so we have we have the cable and uh, we have the hex uh, v2 I just have the basic option, which is the $199 option. It gives you access to three VIN numbers. But you can also have access to up to 10 VIN numbers if you upgrade to the $299 option. And then of course, if you want to go the professional route, then you can get uh, unlimited VINs and also extra functions. But those sell for $649 up to 1399 so basically 650 to 1400 dollars for the professional versions but for my purposes this will be fine uh, this has three VIN numbers and this will do what i need to get done with uh, my volkswagen jetta so now you want to connect your dongle to this cable right here and um, this is going to open up just like that and of course we have it tied there we go now the one side is going to be the USB which will go to your laptop and the other side is this connector right here as you can see and this will go to your your dongle and you can see there is a screw at the bottom so that's going to go to the bottom right there so this is your orientation you plug that in and then you screw this down just like that the instructions that come with are not exactly that clear and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to walk you through how to install and how to register this dongle to Rostec and uh, that we will do on the laptop so at this point in time you don't connect this to the laptop just put this away we'll go to the laptop and we'll download the software we'll register it and uh, then this will be ready for use now the first thing you want to do is go to the Rostec.com website then choose the option to download VCDS software. The page opens up asking you which download and you will choose the hex V2 if that is yours. Now scroll down the page it opens up till you hit the download button and click on that. Once you've downloaded the file and you double click on the downloaded file to open it up you'll see a user account control window opening up asking if you want the app to make changes to your device. Go ahead and click on the yes button. A new window will ask if you want to see the installation instructions. Go ahead and click on the no button. You will be greeted by the welcome to VCDS setup screen. Just click next. The license agreement screen will open up. Just click agree to the license and then next. The choose components page opens up. If you are using the HexNet or Hex V2 interfaces, then just click Next without changing anything. It is only if you are installing drivers for a legacy interface that you will need to check the first box also. The Choose Install Location page opens up and you simply choose the hard drive where you want to save your software file and click the Install button. It is best to install it on your primary C drive. The next page opening up is Welcome to the Device Driver Installation Wizard. Just click on the next button. You will be asked if you want to install the device software. Just say yes, install. 
then click the finish button to complete the device driver installation and click finish again to complete your VCDS setup. The VCDS software will open up on the main screen and you will see a pop-up message that says first use no config file found. Now is the time for you to plug in your dongle via the USB cable and you see the colors on there as it's connected. And now we'll continue with the registration. Close the message box and click on the options button. Then go ahead and click on the test button. It now opens up to VCDS port test. And what you want to see is port status OK. You want to see hex V2 identified and then the, the phrase interface found. If it says status questionable, you are fine. If the status says firmware update required, then you will have to follow the firmware update instructions found at the bottom of the download page. If your screen looks like mine, you can click OK and move on. It opens the program options page. Go ahead and click on the config button. This opens the VCDS interface config page. Just go ahead and select the registration tab. It now opens a page with your personal information if you are already registered. If you are registering for the first time like I am, it opens a registration form you need to fill in. Check the box that you understand the privacy policy and fill in your personal information. Once you've filled in your personal information, click on the Submit Registration Request button. You will be greeted with a pop-up notice that informs you the request was successfully submitted. You can just go ahead and click OK. You can keep this VCDS interface config page open while you go to your email and see if the registration has arrived from Rostec. Find the email from Rostec that your confirmation of your Hexnet registration has been approved and copy your transaction ID. If you did close your VCDS software, now is the time to reopen it and to click on the Options button, followed by the Config button. Make sure your email is correct and paste your transaction ID in the appropriate window. Now go ahead and hit that Finalize Registration button. You will see a pop-up window telling you that customer registration was successful. Just hit OK. Now go ahead and close the config page. Back on the program options page, you're going to go ahead and click on the test button. A window with a port test will appear again. Just hit OK. Now you go ahead and click the save button on the program options page. You will see the VCDS main screen open up. Just go ahead and click the about button at the bottom. The About page will open up and it should have your personal information on it. If it does have your personal information, it is verification that your software is registered at Rostec. Registration gives you access to Rostec forums and Rostec support. I've got to say this is where the, some of the real value lies in being part of the Rostec family.